One by one, the veterans arrive in their black cabs. They've come from all over the country to Harwich in Essex, ready for a late night ferry to the Netherlands. I uh, jumped nine times out of the airplane, including uh, Holland as well. Ray Whitwell flew to Arnhem in September 1944 as part of Operation Market Garden. But you were there, were you, when Holland was liberated? Oh yes, a part of it. Yeah. And what was that like? Wonderful. <laughs> Everybody made us very happy. Ray is now 104 and the oldest veteran to be making the trip back to the Netherlands. John is going to remember lost friends. It's so important to go to meet the people. One of my most pleasures is walking around military cemeteries and looking at the names in the different regiments yeah. and paying my, my homage to them. Operation Market Garden was one of the largest airborne assaults in history. It's aimed to seize a number of bridges in the Netherlands still under Nazi rule. The mission wasn't successful, but every year the Dutch still celebrate the soldiers who eventually liberated them. For the last 10 years or so, servicemen have been taken to the Netherlands by the charity London Taxi Drivers for Military Veterans. They are guests of honour at the so-called Bondeltocht, a march to remember the battle for Arnhem. Thank you for giving us the freedom! It's history to me, I love history. And it's not, history's not for everybody. However, I do believe with these guys, the golden generation as they're called, we should always remember what they gave for this country in its darkest hour. Disabled heroes of two world wars left the Star and Garter Richmond and four other homes to be taken by taxis to Worthing for the day. The London taxi charity is now in its 75th year. It takes veterans for days out to places like Worthing. This film is from 1961, but veterans were back at the seaside just a few weeks ago. The sea air is so good you can eat anything and a lot to look at. What do you think of the taxi charity? What do I think of them? I couldn't praise them enough. They've been wonderful, really have. They do anything for us, anything. And that's no lie, they're marvellous. Bill was just 18 when he parachuted into Europe. He was shot in the leg and ended up spending three years in hospital. Let's hope we get to the right ears and there's no more wars. Because, I mean, admitted, we and the Allies won the war, but it was very expensive. Lots of young lives still lay out there. The veterans head onto the ferry in their black cabs. They will be celebrated for their bravery and courage when they get to the Netherlands. Graeme Satchel, BBC News.